Hi, my name is Emma. I am a third year psychology and sociology student at the U of A. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your own soap powered speedboat. For this experiment, all you need is a cookie sheet, some toothpicks, a pitcher of water, and a little bit of soap. You're also going to need to cut out one of these handy dandy shapes. Basically like an arrow shape, triangle on the top, and then a little triangle down here, straight sides. You are going to want to use either non-corrugated cardboard or foam, like the type you'd find with meat. I used a little bit of a um, milk container that I had lying around. I just cut the shape out of it, and that is going to keep it nice on the water. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of soap just around these edges here kind of the sides of the triangle. You want to make sure that you really get soap on your... And there it goes! Look at it! It's pretty wild. So there are two main principles that make this work. The first is surface tension. Water is sticky. It sticks together and it's really hard to break it apart. So Maybe you've seen this before, but if you have a jar of water, or if you go to a lake, if you drop a rock in, what happens? Well, you get something called a ripple. This is because the water is disrupted, but it's still sticking together. The second principle uses something called surfactants. So here's what a water molecule looks like really up close. You have this oxygen and then two little dots of hydrogens. These bond together to form something called hydrogen bonds. When you have a surfactant, like soap, you get something that looks like this. It's got a little stick with like a ball on the end. The stick doesn't like water, but the top loves water. So you get kind of propelling along and it disrupts the surface tension. So instead of having something like we had in the first drawing, we have these two water molecules that are no longer joined together. We put a little bit of soap on the back of our boat. So this made this go forward because these surfactants were pushing away and disrupting the surface tension.